Hey, what's up, guys? So, on this video, I'll be explaining the basic settings, all right? What's the settings? So, on settings, we have advanced mode. So, I'll be explaining everything we have on this advanced mode, all right? Everything and how everything actually works, all right? So, I'll start from this, you know, right fire button down to this, you know, shotgun fire mode. I will explain to you guys every step by step of everything, all right? So, first, so first of all, you need to understand that this right fire button is actually the house, you know, quick fire, fire on ADS and fire after ADS. So the, the, left, the right fire button and the left fire button, they are both the same thing, all right? They both work on the same way. And right now, what you can see right now is ADS, right? All right? So I'm using the ADS mode. As you can see, I don't have to, you know, I don't have to scope before I shoot, all right? So click over here. I'm going to put this stuff to fire on ADS. All right, so right now it, uh, it has a scope over here. I go ahead and shoot right now. It fires on ADS. All right, you can see. So this is fire on ADS for the left and right fire button. So they both work, you know, the same way. All right. Then right now, you know, they have this thing called, you know, light, left fire button on on off all right so what this stuff does is this one actually helps you to tell you when you want your left fire buttons to be on for example if i go ahead and put the left fire button you know on why it is so right now this is right now i have just one firing button which is the right firing button and the left firing button is no more activated right now it's on whenever i scope you can see the left firing button showing all right so i need to go ahead and Click on this scope button over here for me to have this left firing button activated. All right, and also they have this one called you know left firing button off. So what this one does, it actually helps you to remove the left firing button even while you're ADSing or anytime you never have you know left firing button. Right now you only have one shooting button available, which is the right firing button. That is what this stuff actually does, all right? So it's very good anyway. And most players actually be confused where to put that, you know, left firing button or how to go ahead and adjust the, the left firing button, all right? For this ADS mode, all right? So for this ADS mode, they have tab, hold, mix, um, double tab. All right, so what is ADS mode is, is this. And if you go ahead and click over here, right now, this is called tab. If I, want, if I go ahead and touch over this place, it's, you know, actually, scope for you all right so if i go ahead and put it on hold i need to you see if i go ahead and hold it i need to hold it for you to actually able to scope but if i go ahead and leave it it will stop you know it will go ahead and zoom out so this is what they call hold hold to alias you need to hold to alias all right then also they have this other one called mix this mix is actually called tapping hold like put them together you know and you tap it or you hold it it's called this, this is mix button so some players actually use mix of that choice so that in case I do not be confused which one to hold if it's to hold the weapon down you know right now I need to hold it together that is if I'm actually playing on you know if I am mode right now I can actually go ahead I need to hold it and you know shoot All right, this is actually how it works. Now they have this, you know, double tab, double tab. So it's not showing. See, right now it's not showing. The double tab actually removed the, you know, the scope button. I can't use the scope button anymore. Right now, let me go ahead and put it on, put on ADS, and it's still not showing because why is on double tab. So if you go ahead and put the double tap, your ADS will actually remove, which is this stuff over here. It will remove if it's on, you know, double tap, all right? And now we have auto fire. So most of you actually know what auto fire is. In, is this to actually help you to shoot the enemy on his own without you actually pressing your button. As long as you have the enemy, enemy be captured over here, it goes ahead and shoots for you. 
all right so most players actually like this auto fire but i don't advise you to use auto fire because right now the enemy distance is too far i need to move closer for it to shoot and this is totally with a lot of bullets you know it, it, it got away with a lot of bullets for you See, it took about almost every bullet I have just to kill the enemy. But right now, let's go ahead and go to close range combat. So quick, all right? So this is auto fire. So I don't like auto fire. I'm gonna turn it off. And this kill keyboard, you know, keyboard. Right now, mine is on off anyway. I put yours on on. So I will explain to you guys both of them. So right now, let me go ahead and leave it on off. So if you go ahead and click over here, this is right now this stuff this is my ability all right your second ability you are using it goes ahead and be like this all right and click over here to use this kind of ability i can just you know tap it if i can use it because why my skill board is on off mode right it's on off mode so i can actually go ahead and be the one to you know choose which one i want to use if it's to tap it want to release it uh also to make your keyboard your skateboard, sorry, your skateboard, turn it on. So if you have your skateboard turned on, you go ahead and touch your skills. It goes ahead and activate immediately after you touch after you touch the skills. So this stuff is not really good for players like Nova, for example. All right, so for example, right now you're using Nova and you want to go ahead and, you know, it goes ahead and throw the flank without actually knowing exactly where spot to throw it. You know, this is like auto throw. Let's call it auto auto skills. All right, it goes ahead and use the auto skills for you. At that moment, just for activating it. You know, this is what the skill turn. But if you go ahead and turn it off, all right, go ahead and turn. Sorry, go ahead and turn the skills off right now. If you want to throw your character, you have to be the one to click on it and know how long it will go and exactly where to place it. All right. Then also for this one over here, click on it. You really want to know if you want to throw it or you want to go ahead and, you know, use it for yourself. All right. Just, just have to go ahead and double tap to use it for yourself and, you know, you have your skills yourself. So my advice for you is, Charlie, go ahead and use the one, you know, choose one of the best. All right. So this is what the skills keyboard do. And now they have this auto parachute. All right. So the auto parachute is mostly... When you are jumping from the sky, usually jumping from the sky, actually go ahead and use the auto parachute for you. All right, that is auto parachute, which is mostly activated when you are landing from the chopper. All right, not from a crate anyway, from a chopper. Then now we have this, you know, weapon customized fire over here. Click over here. So this is weapon customized fire. What this stuff actually does is to show you weapon that is on hip fire ADS or fire, you know, fire on ADS. So right now I have my assault rifle, everything on hip fire mode, so that I will not be confused when if I'm using my assault rifle. All right, so this one is to let you know if you wanna make any weapon of your choice, hip fire or you know ADS, any of them. But if you have it over here, so this stuff actually affects this, you know, affects this stuff over here. So right now I have this, you know, weapon customized being turned on over here. I notice the left fire button and the right fire button is being switched off. You see that both switch off and this is for this is for you know as a trifle see not now they have been set up together so if i go ahead and change my weapon to a different weapon for example let me go ahead and use smg all right so this is right now on my smg they are also on you know ADS, if fire, then on if fire mode. All right, my weapon is on if fire mode. So click over here again. Um, let's go ahead and turn this off. And now it's back to if fire again. All right, so that can tell you how it goes ahead and work. So you have to be the one to customize how your weapon should be like if it's if you want it to be on if fire or you want it to be on SMG. Any one of your choice. So I went ahead and put everything on SMG. All right, that is for the weapon customize. All right. So now we have the you know aim assist. All right, we have for the aim assist. You guys know what aim assist is. 
So MRC is in this cursor over here. Sorry, some minutes. But I, I like playing on fire. So MRC is in this cursor over here. Whenever you go ahead and scope, it helps you to, you know, it helps your cursor to move to the enemy. So they have two different aim assist. So they have the beginner aim assist, and they have the expert aim assist. All right, so the aim assist is totally good for some players, but some players would like to, to go ahead and turn up the aim assist. But you know, this is this for the aim assist. Sometimes it's very good. So I went ahead and put my aim assist and expert. If you want, you can actually go ahead and turn this off. So just, you have to be the one to control it to actually move to the enemy head. Go ahead and scope, you have to be to control it. All right. Then also don't forget that we have, you know, ADS rotate come on, camera. Yeah, we have ADS rotate camera. So I'm going to go ahead and put my phone on ADS mode for you guys to see. So right now, this ADS rotate camera, first of all, my own is actually being turned on right now. And if I go ahead and scope, you can see, I'm pointing the shooting button and it's actually shooting why the ADS is being turned on. This is what they call ADS rotate camera. For some players who are sh actually shooting, you notice that do actually be moving when you are shooting at them. This will actually help you to move the weapons from one player to the other. All right, for example, right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot these two players with, with this with, with this you know ADS button. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, that is it for the ADS button. I can go ahead and turn yours off right now. Turn it off. So if you turn it off and totally do this, you see it's not actually moving. So that is the ADS camera. It takes time to move, all right? You see, it takes time to move. This is what the ADS camera does. It gives you a good accuracy not to miss your shot if the enemy is not moving. But if you have your stun on, it goes like this. All right? So that is it for the you know ADS rotate camera, and now we have left firing button rotate view. So this is still the same thing, all right? This is still the same thing. We have the left and right firing button rotate view. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the left firing button. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it on ADS, right? So it's on ADS right now. So so right now mine is being turned on, all right? So I have my left and right firing button rotate view turned on. So if, if this is for mostly for hip fire players, you can go ahead and you know while shooting, just go ahead and use your, your, your weapon fire to change the direction. But if you go ahead and turn this two off, right, turn it off, and now you shoot this way, it's not moving the weapon. This is, this is actually give you a good accuracy. Of your of your shooting, all right. It gives you back control of your shooting. The left hand button is not even moving at all. Why the right hand button is moving, but it's not changing the shooting direction. All right, you see, I can drag it left or right, and it will still be shooting. That is what this you know left and right left and right hand button rotate view. So we have reload interrupt ADS. All right, so actually I've looked into this a lot and what this totally tells you that, you know, they have this reload interrupt ADS. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the ADS mode for this. All right, so right now I have my ADS mode turned on and we have this reload interrupt ADS being turned on, all right? I should go ahead right now and shoot. Then I, then I try to reload, I shoot again. You see, it takes time because it's actually reloading. I can actually go ahead and shoot. All right. So you see, I'm gonna click on reload and scope, then shoot. The reload I've not yet finished, but I'm still shooting. All right. So this, this is how it works. You shoot, 
you reload and you scope again then you shoot all right but if you go ahead and bin and turn yours off for example turn it off then go ahead and shoot all right first of all i'm going to reload so let's shoot now reload and shoot reload scope you see you have to reload finish before you totally go ahead and shoot you need to reload finish before I can actually go ahead and shoot my weapon. Reload. ADS is still reloading. So this is what the you know reload interrupt ADS. And now they have shotgun fire mode. So they have single and hold to blast fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a single and let's change to shotgun. Now we have shotgun. So right now is on right now is on you know single single shot single shot All right it's on single shot and now they have hold to blast fire and now put it on hold to blast fire let's see So what this stuff does, it actually it helps you to just go ahead and blast. Reloading. So I think I like it. I like this one. I like this hold to blast fire down. Single shot. All right. So this is mostly for shotgun players, you know. That is that, that, that's that's where they put it. You know, they put it shotgun single fire mode. All right. So just go ahead and choose the one of your choice. And guys, this is actually everything you need to know about the setting basic and the advanced mode for the setting basic. All right. So actually, I hope I explained everything well for you guys, and I hope this is actually helpful. So guys, find the video helpful, guys. Please don't forget to like this video, and guys, please make sure it's too much. That's what's not below. For more tips like this, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Peace out, and you know, have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching.